Welcome to our daily prayers for Saturday. We're using our Advent prayer booklet and if you don't have the words for the prayers we're about to use you'll find them in the description box just below this video screen and there you will also find contact details for our minister Ian. May I also take this opportunity to warmly invite you to join us for our Sunday morning service and you'll find that at 11 o'clock on YouTube. Just before we start today, we're just going to take a couple of moments of quiet just to still our hearts and minds. The peace of Christ be with us all, and we say together. The watchmen raise their voices and shout together in joy, for with their own eyes they see the Lord return to Zion. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A shoot shall come out from the stock of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. Today's Old Testament reading is from the Psalms and it's Psalm 146. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Do not put your trust in princes, in human beings who cannot save. When their spirit departs, they return to the ground. On that very day, their plans come to nothing. Blessed are those whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord their God. He is the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them. He remains faithful forever. He upholds the cause of the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the foreigner and sustains the fatherless and the widow. But he frustrates the ways of the wicked. The Lord reigns forever, your God, O Zion, for all generations. Praise the Lord. We continue praying together using the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever. Amen. Our Gospel reading today is from Mark's Gospel, chapter 13. Mark's Gospel, chapter 13, and I'm reading from verse 24. But in those days, following that distress, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, the stars will fall from the sky, and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time people will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory. And he will send his angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of the heavens. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that it is near, right at the door. Truly, I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words 
will never pass away. But about that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Be on guard, be alert. You do not know when that time will come. It's like a man going away. He leaves his house and puts his servants in charge, each with their assigned tasks, and tells the one at the door to keep watch. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know when the owner of the house will come back, whether in the evening or at midnight or when the cock crows or at dawn. If he comes suddenly, do not let him find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to everyone. Watch. We're now going to pray together using the prayer on the sheet. And after that, there'll be a time of silence. And that's a time for you to bring to God the things on your heart and the things that he lays on your heart. So we pray together. O come, O come, Emmanuel and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appear. O come, Lord of might. O come, King of David. O come, radiant dawn. O come, ruler of the nations. O come and hear our prayers as we wait for you and we pray in silence. And we continue praying together. Promise keeping God, all creation groans in expectant anticipation of the revealing of your glory. Even though we live in a broken world, we live with the hope of your return. May that same hope be the reason for rejoicing amongst all those who suffer longing for justice, healing and peace. And may we be so filled with hope that we work hard to reveal your kingdom's coming to all whom we live amongst. Amen. Eternal God, you have set before us the great hope that your kingdom will come on earth and have taught us to pray for its coming. Make us ready to thank you for the signs of its dawning and to pray and work for the perfect day when your will shall be done on earth as it is in heaven. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Amen. I'm so glad you were able to join us for daily prayers today, and I do hope you'll be able to join us tomorrow, 11 o'clock, on YouTube for our Sunday morning service. And may you know the peace of God with you for the rest of today. <laughs>